Hello. I wasn't even recording. Ground. Ew. Bruh. Next hair wash day is gonna be a wavy hair day. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I like the creaminess. RuPaul's Drag Race. This was actually pretty good. I already meal prepped this. We're gonna add some salsa. straighten my hair right now because I washed it last night and I've just been in a straight hair kick. It's literally almost 9 a.m. and it's still like kind of gloomy and dark outside. Like that's the only thing with the time change and I'm just like, eh. I feel like it should be brighter right now. It's okay. It's fine. Well, you're gonna do a full day of eating and I am going to basically just take you through my washing machine just made a weird noise. Anywho, we're gonna do a full day of eating today. I love doing full day of eatings because they're just fun. You can literally eat whatever you want. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. I'm gonna show y'all, I was like literally checking because I have to make sure like my bra's not showing. But I'm gonna show y'all what I like to eat to, you know, maintain the physique that I have right now. So you already saw what I had for breakfast. I had oatmeal and eggs. What's now? <sighs> I literally ranted to y'all for like 10 minutes and it wasn't even recording. Now it's recording, Oh. Anyways, disclaimer, no way am I telling you that what I eat is exactly what you need to eat. This is what I eat to maintain my physique for my goals. Don't copy my macros. Don't copy exactly what I eat and expect to like look like me. Like I'm never gonna look like you. You're never gonna look like me because we all have different bodies. And we all require different types of nutrients. The amount of food we eat is very different for everybody. Don't come at me for the foods that I eat because, and honestly, it happens a lot with TikTok and Instagram. I'm literally straightening my hair in watching myself in the little thing, and I really should be looking in the mirror. I get so shat on for the foods that I eat, and like people always comment, like, that's so boring. Like, how can you eat like that? Like, I hope you go to therapy, like you don't enjoy life, like you must hate yourself. Okay, first of all, why is someone else's diet your problem, okay? Second of all, just because I eat salads every day and I like to eat rice and eggs almost every day doesn't mean that I'm unhappy with myself. It's like, I grew up eating foods like that. Okay, I did not grow up on the American diet, I didn't. My mom always made us Peruvian food and Lebanese food because that, my dad is Lebanese, my mom is Peruvian, so that's the food I grew up eating. And what do they eat? In Peru and Lebanon, they eat a lot of rice, they eat beans, they eat lentils, they eat like meat, although I don't like eating meat, um, but my mom would make meat all the time. She would always make salads and whenever we would make salad, like we literally had salad like every single night growing up. My mom's salad weren't like croutons and ranch. Like my mom would literally make like romaine lettuce, tomatoes, onions. That was literally our salad. And then she would top it with olive oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper, and I would eat that up as a kid. Like, I loved that salad so much, and I still love eating salads like that to this day. So it's like, when people see that I eat that, like, kind of salad, they're like, oh my gosh, like, why do you hate yourself? Like, why don't you eat something yummy? Or it's like, that is yummy to me. That is what I grew up eating. That is why what I genuinely enjoy. Or they think that lentils are disgusting. I'm like, I'm sorry I didn't grow up eating the same things y'all ate. Like, I'm not crapping on you for what you eat. Like, what do you think they teach you in health class? Like, the healthiest diet is the Mediterranean diet. Like, for a reason. Like, bruh. Yas. Mm. Slay. You see what I mean? She just feels so like silky and put together when I have it straightened. Next hair wash day is gonna be a wavy hair day. Thank you. I have the dishwasher running, so don't mind the noise in the background. Ew. <laughs> don't mind the noise in the background. We are going to make our coffee now. I've been using the Mick Cafe breakfast blend. Honestly, not the biggest fan of it. Not the biggest fan. Honestly, when I bought how you doing? <laughs> when I bought the Kroger, like literally just like the Kroger premium blend, I like that one a lot better. I just thought that it's like the McCafe, it would taste good, but I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but I've had better. I've had better, so I will not be buying this one again, thank you. Uh, 
I bought this creamer from Kroger over the weekend, I'm pretty sure. Starbucks white chocolate. I love the white chocolate mocha from Starbucks. It just tastes so freaking good. So I bought the creamer. Was it a little expensive? Yes, a little expensive, but it's okay. I like to add the most amount of cream, sugar to my coffee. I love creamy, yummy coffee. When it comes to tea, I'll drink tea plain. Don't put any sugar, don't put any honey, don't put anything in my teas. But coffee, I like the creaminess, the yumminess. To prevent me from putting a freaking this whole thing in here, we are going to top my coffee with some fat-free milk. To give it that feeling of cream. Thank you. Total fat, 1.5, six carb. I may add some stevia. Yeah, or do I just add more cream? <laughs> okay. Mm, no, we'll add. We'll add, we'll add stevia, we'll add stevia. It's the Food Lion brand, but it's stevia, zero calorie, sweetener made from stevia leaf extract. Okay, that's perfect! Yes! I'm happy, thank you. Did I just rinse my spoon off without soap and put it back in the spoon drawer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I know you do that too. Thank you. I'm just going to do a little work while I drink my coffee. I have to start my charts for my clients for next week. And then I'm also going to start typing up the hit guide week two for fanfics. So if you're not already subscribed to that, go ahead and subscribe because I upload all of my recipes and workout guides on there. It will be linked in the description below. RuPaul's Drag Race. I like to watch that. Tell me why it took me an episode to realize that RuPaul's Drag Race was like America's Next Top Model, but like for drag. You know, because RuPaul looks like Tyra Banks when he's like at the judging panel. America's Next Top Model is so and so, and it's like America's Next um, Drag Superstar. So it's basically like America's Next Top Model, but drag. I just, I just love it. I hope it's focusing because it wasn't focusing earlier. We are gonna go to the gym. I literally haven't eaten anything since breakfast. So I had my eggs and my oatmeal and then I had my coffee and I usually like stay pretty full for honestly like four hours after. <laughs> I ideally should be eating a little meal before I go to the gym, but it's gonna be an upper body day. So if it were a leg day, I would probably eat something. But since it's an upper body day, I'm like, eh, I'll be fine. And then I'll just have the rest of the meals after my, after my gym sesh. It is like super gloomy outside. Like there's no sun. I kind of like weather like that because it's kind of comforting. Let's do a little fit check before the gym. We're wearing Young LA curve top and then the black impact define shorts. We're going to hit a little upper body day. No pre-workout today, but I'm going to have some greens because I feel like having some. video I finally got it in the mail I already tried it I like my other flavor better this one isn't that bad I'll give this one a six out of ten and I would give the other one that I tried a seven and a half eight out of ten okay no actually this one's actually pretty good I give this one a six and a half seven you know like when you first listen to a song and at first when you first listen to it you don't like it but then when you like listen to it again and then again and again you're like okay I actually really like the song that's how I am with this flavor. This flavor's starting to grow on me. This is the mango flavor. I just love greens. The micronutrients, I don't get a lot in my day-to-day -day diet. I still, I do like to eat salads. I like to put in like broccoli or some type of vegetable in my meals. But I feel like no matter how, much, how many greens you eat, you're still kind of lacking. So that's why I really love a green substitute. And the micronutrients just helps with like digestion and all of that. So I really like it. Three carb, two fiber, 15 calories. No protein, obviously, because literal plant powder okay so digestion bloating immunity does it have okay stevia leaf extract that's how it's sweetened and that's what i really like about this one there's no sucralose which is what i really like I'm not sure if there's any caffeine i thought it had like green tea wes really likes the ingredients in this one as well whenever i get a new supplement i always make wes read it like read the label or whatever because he's super smart and he's super knowledgeable when it comes to supplements and he really loves these he loves these greens so we're a blooms family around here cheers we're gonna do back and shoulders today at the gym and then come back and then have 
three more meals. I literally had to throw Wes's hoodie on because I refuse, I refuse to let my hair get wet because I straighten it and it's all silky. So we're rocking the little hobo fit to get into the gym. But literally, you can look at the rain. I love the rain. I love the rain too. gym I'm so freaking hungry my stomach is literally rumbling and grumbling we're gonna make a protein shake love this protein shake because it has 50 grams of protein you've seen me make this protein shake a bazillion gazillion times but we're gonna make it again okay we're gonna add their life into our cup yeah I like to drink a little bit because I don't want to be chugging too much of the protein shake. So I just drink my meal first. We're gonna take, can you see me? Let's go right here. One scoop of transparent labs. Uh, oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. This isn't my favorite flavor. I like the chocolate one better, but Wes really likes this flavor. So to each is their own. You know, what can I do about it? We're gonna add some Powdered protein, PB2. This is literally the off-brand powdered peanut butter. Just add some flavor into our life. Thank you. Can bananas get old in the freezer? You know what I mean? Like, rotten? I don't think so. Cause like people will literally like purposely make their bananas super bad. Like, rotten so they can make banana bread and stuff. So I think this is fine. Add some substance, make it a little chunky. We're gonna add a squirt of honey. Ooh, and then we're gonna put some cinnamon in it. Cinnamon in it, because I feel like all the tea is really good if I put cinnamon in it. Okay, so we're just gonna add a, like a dollop of cinnamon, a dollop of honey. And then there's virtually like no fat in here. I've, there's some fat in the PB2, it's like 1.5 grams. So we're gonna have some of this. Mix it up. Taste us. I already know she's gonna taste good. I made it, so it's gonna taste good. Mm, yes! Cinnamon literally adds. This is my first time putting cinnamon in it, and I will forever be putting cinnamon in my protein juice from now on. Thank you. Also, I made homemade ice cream the other day. So you have to make like the base of the ice cream first, and then heat it up on the stove or whatever, and then you have to let it chill. So I was like, okay. I made the base, I put it in a jar, and I put it in the fridge overnight so it can chill. And I was so excited. Last night, hang on, let me turn off this fan. Anyways, I was so excited last night to make the ice cream because I was like, yes! I put the ice cream-like turner thing in the freezer overnight, so it should be frozen, right? It wasn't frozen. So I was literally churning my ice cream for like 45 minutes, and I would check it like every 20 minutes, and I'm like, why isn't this churning? And at first, I thought it was like my recipe. I was like, did I F up the recipe? Because like, I'm made my own concoction. I was like, did I put an ingredient in there that just doesn't make the ice cream, you know, creamy? And then Wes was like, babe, it's not frozen. And I'm like, yes it is, I let it freeze overnight. And he like took the thing and he shook it and there's still like liquid in the thing, so it wasn't frozen. So I was really sad about that. So I don't wanna have the ice cream again tonight. I'm gonna let the thing freeze another night. Super excited for this one because I think that this is finally the recipe that I nailed because I've attempted to make this ice cream two times, two different batches and they just, Turned out a little too icy. Hopefully, this recipe that I made this time will be really good. But you know what? If it's not, we're just gonna do it again. Do it again until it freaking comes out perfectly. And then I'm gonna put it on um, fanfics for y'all. I have, I upload all of my recipes on fanfic. So if you can subscribe to that, you can have all of my recipes that I make, all my yummy recipes. And I just uploaded the Four week spring hit challenge on fanfix. Week one is already up and I will be uploading workout guides weekly. So if you're not already subscribed to that, subscribe, it's linked below and subscribe to this channel, please. <laughs> like, comment. I think it's like commenting is really good for videos. Just comment literally anything. Ask me anything. Comment your favorite emoji, literally anything. And they'll just show some love. Now show some love back, y'all, y'all.
before, so we're gonna make dinner. I'm gonna have lentils and rice. I already meal prepped this and measured everything out. So in here, there's 13 grams of protein and 61 carb and about 6.75 grams of fat. To add more protein, we're going to make egg whites on the stove, not scrambled, it's gonna kind of be like fried, as if I was gonna make fried egg, but without the yellow. To make this meal, 31 grams of protein. Okay. Okay. instead of three because I just wanted more protein. Okay, so I had 40 grams of protein this morning for breakfast, 50 in the smoothie, about like seven in my salad, and this is 37 grams. And my goal every single day is 130 grams of protein, around 200 carb, and then 40 fat. So she's looking pretty good. I might add some salsa on top, yeah. We're gonna add some salsa and then eat her up. I may have something else, probably not, but if I do, I'll show it, okay? It is the next day. I did end up having two big spoonfuls of plain fat Greek yogurt and then a fourth of a Ghirardelli chocolate square. That is what I had for the rest of the day, but I didn't film an outro or I didn't film it last night, so I just wanted to say hello and goodbye. That is it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!